What if a student or teacher tests positive for COVID-19 in your child's class? Or how about in their school? It's a likely scenario as we head back to school. Today, Greenville County Schools announced its plan on how it will handle the situation. And it starts with three different notifications. Fox Carolina's Shell Ramin breaking down the new information before students head back to the classroom. Shell? Well, Cody, keeping track of students who test positive for COVID-19 will essentially be another full-time job for the school district to keep up with. That's why they say it is crucial that they work hand-in-hand -hand with parents to monitor those symptoms. And if a notification pops up on your phone or in e your email, they don't want you to panic. They want you to know what's being done. On are the days when you would send a child to school with a little sniffle or maybe a cough. Uh, but they're not fully sick, so they're going to be okay. Um, those days are over. Parents say it's not a matter of if their phone will ring, but when. It, it'll probably be like the world is frozen for these five seconds. Now I got to put it into action. This is what we have to do. These are the steps we have to take. Should a teacher, bus driver, student, or anyone connected to Greenville County Schools test positive for COVID-19, the name of the game is transparency. Contact tracing will begin. Uh, basically an investigation of who was this student or teacher around? Were they in close contact with anyone? And if so, who and who do we need to notify? Greenville County Schools releasing new information Wednesday about three kinds of notifications. The first, a close contact notification. People who were around that patient uh, within six feet or less with or without a mask for a period of 15 minutes or longer, and those are DHEC guidelines, um, will receive a close contact notification. They will then be forced to quarantine for 14 days, and that could cause a ripple effect for many parents. If you know one of my son's classmates has it, my first grader can't go to school, my four-year-old can't go to school, I can't come here to teach. The other two notifications will be not close contact, meaning someone in a class tested positive, but your student had little to no interaction with them. They will not be excluded from school. And lastly, a school-wide notification alerting everyone of a positive case inside a school. Nobody wants to phone the school and say my, t my kid has tested positive. Nobody wants to do that. But we all kind of, if, if that happens, we have to. And these alerts will be targeted to each individual school. But if there is a positive case, the school district says they will post all of that information directly onto their website. And they add if a, if a student of a sibling has tested positive, they will automatically have to quarantine for 14 to 24 days. We have a breakdown of all of these notifications inside of our Fox Carolina News app. I'll have much more coming up at the 5 o'clock hour. But for now, reporting live in Greenville County, I'm Shell Ramin, Fox Carolina, the 4 o'clock news. Shell, thanks. And speaking of Greenville County, the district says it has not changed the number of sick day students are allowed this year. That number is still at 10, but the superintendent does not want parents or students to get stuck on the number. He says they'll be focusing on whether assignments are finished or not, rather than the hours spent in the classroom. He says he does not want a student to attend school when they are sick.